so it is quarter to seven now. Um, we've been awake in our tent for at least the past 45 minutes listening to the lightning and thunderstorms. Um, we're sort of debating what to do today. Today is the one day that I was hoping it would be all sunny because it's the day that we climb the ladders up to the top and also see Lac Blanc which So the camera died earlier and then the rain got super, super intense. Um, but what I was saying is, um, about Lake Blanc, is that usually it's super crystal clear and you can see the reflection of the mountains onto the lake. Obviously we will not be able to see that today, because the weather is insane. Like our tent is literally on a river of water, like it's insane. A flood there. I'm back here. I'm not too sure on what we're going to do yet. We're trying to weigh up all our options. Obviously we want a complete trail, but the thought of climbing metal ladders at the side of a rock face while it's lightning and thundering today isn't ideal. Um, so yeah, we don't know what to do. If the weather out here has been nice today, we were just going to climb the hill while camp and then climb back down tomorrow. But this whole weather scenario has really thrown a spanner in the works. And we were just talking last night at dinner about how lucky we've all been with the weather. <laughs> we jinx it. Everything in the tent is wet through. <laughs> So we have decided to bite the bullet and just carry on today as normal so far. The rain has stopped, the sun's actually come out. It's still very, very dark over the mountains across, but on the side that we're heading, it's actually blue sky currently. Um, I don't think there's any more thunder or rain predicted into like one. So we're gonna see how we go. If the weather gets too bad, there are huts at the top, there's three huts that we can stop at. There are also three or four cable cars, so worst comes to worst, we have got options to get down off the mountain if the weather's really bad. What we might do is try and get to the hut, shelter in there while this afternoon storm passes, and then maybe continue a little bit further and while camping the national park because you're like one night wild camping up there so so yeah we'll see how we go i feel like every time i vlog in the morning i'm always going uphill <laughs> but we're just starting our i think it's 650 meter climb now um, and then we've got a ladder section at the top which was the main thing that we didn't want lightning for so long as it holds out for a few hours we should be okay that's what the weather's currently doing. So we're just going to get up this hill, get up the ladders and then just see how we go from there. Fingers crossed. The weather will hold off for most of the day and we'll be fine. We definitely need to dry the tent out though. So we can still hear thunder in the valley behind us there. Fortunately, the clouds are still blowing that way. So hopefully they continue going that way. Look on this side, we have bright blue skies. <laughs> Which is lovely, but also very hot because the hill this morning is quite the steep one. 
but if these blue skies last, then we are winning. So the signs have said they're about half an hour from Aguil de Argentia, um, which is basically almost like the summit of where we're going now, um, and then straight after that's the ladders. So um, I'm very grateful to have good weather for this bit, and hopefully good weather for Loch Blanc as well. Even if we can't see any reflections um, in the lake, then at least if it's dry. We can still enjoy the views. That's a little on the water so hard into it. Mine. I stumbled to a car I never learned to drive And it's a busy bargain For the hours in a day I got nothing here but time I am giving it away And if I fall I will catch myself I've been living life Someone else, and if you want, you can follow me. But I don't belong where I don't. This is epic, slightly steep, but so epic. I wouldn't like to do it if it was wet, though. And there's a piece of glass that shows me what I am. There are little light up boxes filled with other people's plans. And as I fall asleep, I see the place I came from. There's an ocean between me and the person that I once was. And if I fall, I will catch my shoe. And I've been living like somewhere. I try not to take 
for granted But oh my god, if I thought it If I fall, I will catch myself So here's two of the like these shuddies behind me. We are about to pass one that's right on trail, so I'm very excited for that. Um, we have took the alternate route so that we can do the lakes and see Loch Blanc. I would have vlogged Zuna, but the bloody wind is insane. I'm so glad that we've uh, done this route though. It's been absolutely epic. So uh, hopefully not too far to go now. And the weather's still holding out. Just a bit windy and we're very thirsty. We were just discussing then that with all the rush, with the mad weather and everything this morning, all we've really had is some chocolate biscuits in bed while we wait for the storm to pass. And that's it. So I haven't had a coffee, I haven't had any water since last night, so I'm bloody dying. I've got some in my bag, but I can't get my water tube out without unpacking it. And we figure since we're getting to the lakes, there should be a water source. So we'll see, there's not a uh, water source in the next 10 minutes, I'm just gonna go in my bag. Cause man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> And also, that trail up this morning was honestly pretty intense. I would not want to do that if I was scared of heights. It definitely got your adrenaline going. Some of those ladders were high. <laughs> and for those of you are, who are afraid of heights, there's an alternative route. I think it is quite a bit longer, but still an alternative route without ladders nonetheless. What a view. So I've literally got Lake Dichetis to the side of me, a waterfall in front, and to the left we have Mont Blanc. <laughs> Insane! And then Lac Blanc is literally just up there where that hut is. It's a bit of a climb, but um, how incredible. So glad we took this route. So we can swim, which I didn't think you would be able to, but you also can't drink um, this water, even though there is a flowing river from it. And I think it's something to do with what's in the lake. The sign's in French, so I'm not fully sure, but um, we're gonna keep going anyway and find some water that's flowing a little bit better, not out of a lake with lava in it. <laughs> Last little climb of this morning up behind us to Loch Blanc, where there is also a refuge. So we'll be stopping there for snacks and drinks. I think to get up there, there's actually a few more ladders. So, uh, pretty exciting. Well, his and hers ladder this time. I think we're 
miles at the top. But what a climb. And what a view. A mission. Got an orangina that costs us all of five euros, and they only take cash here. So um, pretty steep. So we're just going to share one and filter the water. From there. Absolutely stunning spot. Unfortunately, you can't swim. There are a few people dipping their feet in and stuff, so we might just cool our feet down and think while we have a drink. But uh, what a beautiful spot. Definitely cashing in our tourists though. <laughs> So once you leave Loch Blanc to continue down to La Fleisurie Hut, that's when it gets super busy. There are a ton of day trippers and like day hikers and stuff coming up from Chamonix. Um, so I'm pretty sure that the cable car is near the hut. Um, so yeah, coming on this side there has been a ton of people. The um, grey clouds are starting to move in though. So um, we need to decide what we're going to do at the hut. I want to get to the hut, have some food, I think we can make a good decision from there. It's about 75 euros to get up there, but it takes you so high, it looks incredible. And also, right now, where we're actually heading is to this building here, which I think is where the hut's gonna be, and the refuge, and some food and snacks. It currently looks like a game of Sims from up here. <laughs>
last little uphill before lunch. We actually thought that that over there was a refuge for a sec. And we were like, oh no, we've climbed. So thank God it's not. And we're almost there. So this is where I'm going to actually end this video. I'm splitting this day into two as it ended up being super long. And if it was all in one video, it would be like 50 minutes. But thank you so, so much for watching and we will catch you next week for part two.